Hello from FantaVH. This is going to be part 2 about uh, bench power supply. But first I have uh, to say a few things about first part and something I didn't explain well in first part. It's about uh, board layout. There are two red uh, Roots, you can see many, be, many will figure it on their own what it means. But for those who don't know, it means there are two types of PCB boards for amateurs. So uh, <coughs> one is uh, single-sided, which what means uh, single-side copper layer, and uh, another is double-sided. What means uh, that board have uh, copper layer from both sides. Upper and downside are both copper layer. And when you're using Eagle and many other CAD software, you can uh, mark, you can uh, use different colors of routing for uh, one side and uh, another side. In my in my case, I using blue color for uh, lower side or uh, downside or whatever you want to call it and uh, a red routing for uh, upper side but as I use it and you was able to see I using single sided bar that means that uh, red routing represents just a wire bridge from one point to another point during the assembling elements to the board just be careful about to not uh, short any pin to another pin especially for integrated circuit and if you are in doubt that uh, something is not okay just check it with magnifier or whatever it's good to be careful because uh, and to double check everything because at the end you will uh, avoid possible problems when you first time power up your device and again uh, if you watch many other youtubers big channels uh, you will see pro equipment professional equipment uh, very nicely uh, done working space and such things in my case you can see that in my case everything is improvisation i living in pure country where life is hard so no way uh, no big extra money to spend on some special equipment and so on i have almost everything i need and can can build any kind of electronic device or even uh, can do servicing as needed on anything. So I'm just fine as it on this way. It's uh, I just wanted to say so you know about why everything uh, in my video looks like improvisation and uh, it, it don't just look it is everything improvisation almost everything is done every element is on the board so i would say it's time to show you the box uh, where i going uh, to place everything and first job with that box is uh, to remove all what is not needed it is a uh, box uh, old military rectifier I don't know for what purpose it was I think for charging uh, some batteries 12 volts batteries and 24 volts batteries or even maybe uh, to supply power to radio station and such thing it's very old I think it's over 40 years old I found it on garbage actually it will give a hand for uh, 
what I need, especially uh, transformator which is built in is uh, 500 watts, 24 volts transformator, perfect transformator for uh, this uh, bench power supply. This is uh, digital voltmeter and ampermeter, cheap one from eBay. I think uh, this one is ordered from Bangod.com, but it's same on eBay or on Bangod. It's same. It's rated uh, 10 amperes, 50 volts. That is what I need for this bench power supply. I don't build in higher than 5 amperes power supply, and uh, it will it will not go over 30 volts ever. So it will fit perfectly for this bench power supply. All hard work to remove all not needed parts from this box and then uh, time for uh, measuring and placing digital instrument into this box. Before that I will have to cut hole. Hole is done, not so precisely, but it's done and it will be ok then you will see. Time to place uh, instrument in hole but it uh, don't go into hole uh, at first try so I had to adjust it a little and at the end everything is just ok instrument is is in hole fits in hole very tightly wearing wires and wiring uh, transformator to rectifier and just uh, preparing everything so I can connect everything together at one moment this box uh, beside transformator as well have a switch on the background fuse and uh, lighting indicator when it's on or off very nice I, I gonna use all of that I think uh, this is most interesting part part in wall video uh, it's related to uh, power for uh, digital ampermeter. Maybe some of you know, but uh, maybe others don't know. It's that uh, digital ampermeters need separated power uh, to work properly. So you can that means you can't use uh, same power for work. Uh, which is measured by digital ampermeter. And I had many choices to do that uh, separated uh, transformerless power source for digital ampermeter and such thing. I mean, uh, you can do whatever you want. It's uh, only 15. Uh, milliamperes needed uh, for digital ampermeter to work. Maybe 20 milliamperes if it is uh, like this one. In, uh, I mean, uh, combination of uh, digital voltmeter and digital ampermeter in same device. So, and one day I got idea to use some spare uh, original power supply for uh, from some devices like maybe charger for mobile phone maybe uh, for power supplies from some devices like uh, small network switches 5 or 8 ports and such things there are many devices which using separated uh, power supplies which are which are rated 5 vol volts which is enough for digital ampermeter voltmeter to work and then I remembered that uh, once in the past before six months or so we had thunders big thunderstorm here and one thunder hit the ground very nearby I mean very close to us and some uh, not some many network switches just stopped working they was not protected from such uh, from such uh, 
event so we just replaced them with new ones and what was interesting every single power supply of those switches was working so uh, shock uh, which caused uh, every switch stop working uh, came through the network cables not through the power grid that was interesting part and this what you see is uh, such uh, power supply of one small network ethernet switch you can see <laughs> on these images it's a uh, kind of professional power supply it's built so good and it has to be built built as that because uh, it's intended intended to work 24 hours per day 365 days pay per year for full few years so quality is not question of this device and it's a uh, it's kind of perfect power supply for digital uh, digital amperimeters so that is what i using here a lot of work around this uh, power supply but it's almost done as you see i wiring everything connecting and finally uh, got my heat shrink tubes I ordered them 20 days ago but it need time to arrive in my country so so I can do now everything wire up isolation and so and finally finish this so everything is done well connected and this is how it looks from inside of this device in my case very nicely and let's play a little with led diodes to see how it regulating power remember led diodes uh, can be used as uh, zener diodes i think around two volts or something like that so they just uh, when you power powering up led diodes uh, from and trying to regulate it uh, with uh, only regulating current uh, you will notice that voltage as well dropping on led diodes it's normal behavior when you playing with led diodes this is now uh, how voltage regulating works without any lo load i suggest using a multi turn potentiometer uh, for regulating voltage you can see it's kind of hard to precisely regulate voltage with single turn potentiometer i ordered my expecting it to arrive so i will use it so that is all thank you for watching subscribe and wait for next video bye bye Thank you.